The science of glucose and hormones, fertility, pose, menopause. Did you know that the key to unlocking hormonal balance might be in your glucose levels? Whether you're facing fertility challenges, managing pose, or navigating menopause, understanding this hidden connection could change everything. Hormonal imbalances affect millions of women worldwide, leading to issues like fertility struggles, polycystic ovary syndrome, pose, endometriosis, and challenging menopausal symptoms. While hormones are at the core of these conditions, there's a lesser known but vital player in the background, glucose. In this audiobook, we'll dive into the science of how glucose impacts your hormonal health, the intricate relationship between blood sugar levels and conditions like pose and menopause, and why maintaining stable glucose is crucial for balancing hormones. You'll walk away with practical insights to help you take control of your health and experience better outcomes in managing hormonal imbalances. Focus points. Glucose and hormonal imbalances. The role of glucose in hormone regulation and why it's a key factor in women's health. Pose and glucose. How unbalanced glucose levels contribute to pose symptoms and strategies to manage them through diet and lifestyle changes. Endometriosis and hormones. Understanding how blood sugar affects inflammation and hormonal health in women with endometriosis. Menopause and glucose control. How glucose stability can ease the transition through menopause and help manage symptoms. Fertility and blood sugar. The link between balanced glucose and improved fertility outcomes. Practical tips for glucose management. Actionable advice to help you stabilize glucose levels for better hormonal health, including meal timing, food choices, and lifestyle changes. Learning outcomes. Understand the impact of glucose on hormonal health. Learn how glucose levels influence conditions like pose, endometriosis, and menopause. Master glucose stabilizing techniques. Gain practical strategies to balance glucose levels and support hormonal health through nutrition and lifestyle modifications. Manage hormonal imbalances effectively. Find actionable solutions for alleviating symptoms related to hormonal imbalances, including fertility struggles, pose, and menopausal challenges. Enhance fertility and reproductive health. Learn the connection between stable glucose levels and improved fertility outcomes. Navigate menopause with confidence. Discover how better glucose control can help you manage the physical and emotional challenges of menopause. This audiobook will empower you with the knowledge and tools you need to take charge of your hormonal health by focusing on the often overlooked factor of glucose management. Whether you're looking to improve fertility, manage pose, or navigate menopause with ease, you'll find answers here. Focus point one, glucose and hormonal imbalances. The role of glucose in hormone regulation and why it's a key factor in women's health. Glucose, the primary source of energy for the body's cells, plays a pivotal role in hormonal regulation, particularly in women's health. When blood sugar levels fluctuate, they can disrupt the delicate hormonal balance, leading to significant health consequences. Hormones such as insulin, cortisol, and sex hormones, estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone are closely intertwined with glucose metabolism. Imbalances in glucose can trigger hormonal issues, which often manifest in conditions like polycystic ovary syndrome, pose, fertility struggles, endometriosis, and challenges during menopause. Glucose and insulin, a hormonal relationship. One of the primary hormones affected by glucose is insulin, which helps regulate blood sugar levels. Insulin is secreted by the pancreas in response to rising glucose levels in the bloodstream, usually after meals. Chronic spikes in glucose, such as those caused by diets high in processed sugars and refined carbohydrates, can lead to insulin resistance. This means the body's cells become less responsive to insulin, prompting the pancreas to produce even more insulin. Over time, this excess insulin can disrupt other hormonal processes, particularly those involving reproductive hormones. A striking example is seen in women with POS, a condition that affects up to 10% of women of reproductive age. Insulin resistance is a key feature of POS and plays a major role in the overproduction of androgens, male hormones, which are responsible for many of the condition's symptoms, including irregular periods, infertility, and excessive hair growth. Studies have demonstrated that managing glucose levels through dietary and lifestyle changes can significantly improve insulin sensitivity 
and reduce pose symptoms. Legro et al., 2013. The cortisol-glucose connection. Cortisol, often referred to as the stress hormone, is also deeply influenced by glucose levels. Cortisol helps regulate metabolism and the body's stress response, and it has a direct impact on glucose by raising blood sugar levels in times of stress to provide quick energy. However, chronic stress, leading to persistently high cortisol levels, can disrupt glucose regulation. This creates a vicious cycle where high glucose levels trigger more cortisol release, exacerbating stress and causing further hormonal imbalance. Women in their menopausal years may particularly feel the effects of this interplay. As estrogen levels decrease during menopause, insulin sensitivity also tends to decline, resulting in more frequent blood sugar fluctuations. The added stress of menopause may further elevate cortisol levels, leading to increased weight gain, mood swings, and fatigue. Research has shown that regulating glucose can help manage cortisol levels and reduce these menopausal symptoms, Royal et al., 2014. Glucose and Reproductive Hormones Estrogen and progesterone, the primary sex hormones in women, also have a reciprocal relationship with glucose levels. Estrogen promotes insulin sensitivity, which means that during phases of the menstrual cycle or life stages when estrogen levels are higher, women may find it easier to maintain stable blood sugar levels. Conversely, during menopause, when estrogen levels drop, insulin sensitivity often declines, leading to more frequent spikes in blood sugar. Progesterone, on the other hand, can have the opposite effect. High levels of progesterone, such as those during the luteal phase of the menstrual cycle, can reduce insulin sensitivity. This is why many women experience cravings for sugary foods in the days leading up to their period, as their bodies become less efficient at processing glucose. This hormonal shift is a clear demonstration of how closely intertwined glucose and reproductive hormones are. The bigger picture, how glucose influences overall hormonal health. The effects of glucose on hormones extend beyond the reproductive system. Thyroid function, for instance, is also influenced by glucose levels. Hypothyroidism, an underactive thyroid, is often associated with insulin resistance, and managing blood sugar is a key part of treatment for many individuals with thyroid imbalances. Moreover, emerging research links glucose dysregulation with conditions like endometriosis, where imbalanced glucose and insulin levels contribute to the inflammation that exacerbates this painful condition, Nezhat et al., 2018. While hormonal health is complex and influenced by many factors, it is clear that glucose management is a critical piece of the puzzle. The body's hormones work in a delicate symphony, and when glucose levels are out of balance, the whole system can fall out of tune. As the ancient physician Hippocrates once said, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. In the context of glucose and hormonal health, this wisdom holds profound relevance. By making conscious choices about our diet and lifestyle, we can directly influence glucose levels and in turn, support a healthier, more balanced hormonal system. Recommendations for Focus Point 1 To maintain hormonal balance, it's essential to prioritize stable glucose levels through mindful dietary and lifestyle choices. Focus on whole foods, reduce refined sugars and processed carbohydrates in your diet, replacing them with whole grains, lean proteins, healthy fats, and fiber-rich vegetables. These foods promote stable blood sugar levels and reduce the risk of insulin resistance. Prioritize balanced meals. Eating a balanced mix of protein, fats, and fiber at each meal can help slow down glucose absorption and prevent spikes in blood sugar. For example, starting your meal with fiber-rich vegetables and pairing carbohydrates with protein can make a significant difference. Regular exercise. Physical activity increases insulin sensitivity, allowing your cells to use glucose more efficiently. Incorporating regular exercise, such as strength training or walking, can help improve hormonal balance and overall metabolic health. Manage stress. Since chronic stress leads to elevated cortisol and affects glucose regulation, practicing stress-reducing techniques like meditation, yoga, or deep breathing can help lower cortisol and support hormonal harmony. By incorporating these strategies into your daily routine, you can help maintain balanced glucose levels which in turn supports overall hormonal health, particularly in relation to fertility, pose, 
endometriosis, and menopause. Focus point two, pose and glucose. How unbalanced glucose levels contribute to POS symptoms and strategies to manage them. Polycystic ovary syndrome, POS, is a common endocrine disorder affecting 6% to 12% of women of reproductive age, characterized by a range of symptoms including irregular menstrual cycles, infertility, excess androgen production, leading to acne and excess hair growth, and metabolic disturbances such as insulin resistance and obesity. One of the key underlying factors in POS is unbalanced glucose levels, which can exacerbate its symptoms and lead to long-term health complications. By understanding the role of glucose in POS and employing dietary and lifestyle strategies, women can significantly improve their symptoms and quality of life. The link between glucose and POS. At the heart of the connection between glucose and POS is insulin resistance, a condition where the body's cells become less responsive to insulin the hormone responsible for regulating blood sugar levels. As insulin resistance develops, the pancreas compensates by producing more insulin to maintain normal blood glucose levels. However, chronically elevated insulin levels can have detrimental effects on ovarian function, triggering an increase in androgen, male hormone production. This hormonal imbalance leads to many of the symptoms commonly associated with POS, including irregular periods, anovulation, the absence of ovulation, and infertility, Dunafe, 1997. In fact, studies show that up to 70% of women with POS have some degree of insulin resistance, even if they are not overweight or obese, Gudarzi et al., 2011. This suggests that glucose management plays a critical role in mitigating the severity of POS symptoms. The relationship between insulin resistance and POS creates a cycle where higher insulin levels increase androgen production which in turn worsens insulin resistance, further aggravating the condition. Unbalanced glucose and androgen excess. Excess insulin doesn't just influence glucose. It directly stimulates the ovaries to produce more androgens, particularly testosterone. Elevated androgen levels lead to the characteristic pose symptoms of hirsutism, excessive hair growth, acne, and hair loss. Moreover, the liver reduces its production of sex hormone binding globulin, SHBG, in response to high insulin levels, leaving more free testosterone to circulate in the bloodstream, further worsening these symptoms. This androgen excess can also interfere with the normal ovulatory process. In a typical menstrual cycle, an egg matures and is released from the ovary. In women with POS, the hormonal disruption caused by insulin resistance can prevent the egg from maturing properly, leading to the formation of multiple small, immature follicles, the polycystic ovaries, and a failure to ovulate. This is why many women with POS experience irregular or absent menstrual periods, and why the condition is a leading cause of infertility, as is et al., 2004. The role of diet in managing glucose and POS. Diet is one of the most effective ways to manage insulin resistance and thus control POS symptoms. Numerous studies have highlighted the benefits of a low glycemic index, GI diet, for women with POS. Foods that are low on the glycemic index cause slower, steadier rises in blood sugar, preventing the insulin spikes that exacerbate POS symptoms. Examples of low GI foods include whole grains, legumes, vegetables, and certain fruits like berries and apples. These foods help maintain stable blood sugar levels, reducing insulin secretion and improving hormonal balance. In contrast, diets high in refined carbohydrates, such as white bread, sugary cereals, and processed snacks cause rapid increases in blood glucose, leading to sharp insulin spikes. Over time, this repeated pattern can worsen insulin resistance and pose symptoms. By focusing on whole, unprocessed foods and minimizing simple carbohydrates, women with pose can take significant steps toward improving their condition. One successful case study involves the story of 29-year-old Amanda, who was diagnosed with POS after years of irregular periods, acne, and weight gain. After adopting a low GI diet and increasing her physical activity, Amanda experienced significant improvements. Within six months, her periods became more regular, her skin cleared up, and she lost 15 pounds. Her fertility also improved, and she became pregnant after previously struggling to conceive. Lifestyle changes to manage glucose and POS. Beyond diet, lifestyle interventions such as exercise and stress management 
play a crucial role in managing glucose levels and reducing insulin resistance in women with POSE. Regular physical activity, particularly strength training and cardiovascular exercises, has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity by increasing glucose uptake in muscles, independent of insulin, Holton et al., 2004. Exercise not only helps to stabilize blood sugar levels, but also contributes to weight loss, which can further enhance insulin sensitivity and alleviate pose symptoms. Stress management is another key component, as chronic stress can raise cortisol levels, which in turn elevates blood glucose. Mind-body practices like yoga, meditation, and deep breathing exercises can help lower cortisol levels and prevent blood sugar spikes triggered by stress. In a study conducted on women with POSE, those who participated in a 12-week yoga program showed improvements in insulin resistance and reduced androgen levels compared to the control group, Nidhi et al., 2012. This demonstrates the power of integrating stress reduction techniques into a comprehensive management plan for POSE. The importance of sustainable weight management. For women with POSE who are overweight, weight loss, even as little as 5% of body weight, can significantly improve insulin sensitivity and reduce androgen levels. Research indicates that moderate weight loss can restore ovulation, improve menstrual regularity, and increase the likelihood of conception in women struggling with infertility due to pose, Moran et al., 2011. However, it's important to approach weight management in a sustainable and healthy way, focusing on long-term lifestyle changes rather than quick fixes or fad diets. A balanced, nutrient-dense diet combined with regular physical activity and stress management is far more effective and sustainable than extreme calorie restriction or unsustainable exercise regimens. Conclusion and recommendations for focus point two. Given the profound connection between glucose regulation and pose, managing blood sugar through dietary and lifestyle changes is essential for improving symptoms and reducing the risk of long-term health complications. For women with POSE, the following recommendations can be particularly helpful. Adopt a low glycemic index diet, prioritize whole foods that cause gradual increases in blood sugar, such as whole grains, vegetables, legumes, and lean proteins. Avoid refined sugars and processed carbohydrates that cause sharp glucose spikes. Engage in regular exercise. Incorporate both strength training and cardiovascular activities to improve insulin sensitivity and promote healthy glucose metabolism. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate exercise per week, spread across several days. Practice stress reduction techniques. Incorporate mindfulness practices like yoga, meditation, or deep breathing to help manage cortisol levels and reduce stress-related blood sugar fluctuations. Pursue sustainable weight management. For those who are overweight, aim for gradual weight loss through a balanced diet and regular physical activity targeting a 5% reduction in body weight as an initial goal. By focusing on these strategies, women with POSE can effectively manage their glucose levels and alleviate the hormonal imbalances at the root of their symptoms. As we cultivate healthier habits, we unlock the power of balance, both in our blood sugar and our hormones, leading to improved well-being and quality of life. Focus point three, endometriosis and hormones. Understanding how blood sugar affects inflammation and hormonal health in women with endometriosis. Endometriosis is a chronic condition affecting 10% of women globally, where tissue similar to the lining of the uterus grows outside the uterine cavity, leading to inflammation, pain, and sometimes infertility. Although the exact cause of endometriosis is still not fully understood, it is widely acknowledged that hormonal imbalances, particularly involving estrogen, play a central role in its progression. In addition, research has increasingly shown that blood sugar regulation is critical for managing both the inflammatory and hormonal aspects of the condition, emphasizing the intricate connection between glucose levels, inflammation, and estrogen dominance in endometriosis. The role of blood sugar in inflammation and hormonal health. Blood sugar fluctuations can significantly affect inflammation in the body. In the context of endometriosis, Inflammation is a core symptom and contributor to the progression of the disease. Chronic inflammation not only worsens the painful symptoms, but also creates an environment where abnormal tissue growth is sustained. Excess glucose in the bloodstream, 
triggers the release of pro-inflammatory cytokines, leading to systemic inflammation that can exacerbate endometrial lesions. One major reason for this connection is glycation, a process where excess glucose binds to proteins and lipids, forming advanced glycation end products, ages. These ages are known to trigger inflammation, oxidative stress, and tissue damage, all of which are key factors in the development and exacerbation of endometriosis, Vlasara and Pallas, 2002. Research has shown that women with endometriosis often have higher levels of inflammatory markers like C-reactive protein, CRP, in their blood, particularly when insulin resistance and poor blood sugar management are present, Bidewi et al., 2002. The impact of blood sugar on inflammation goes beyond biochemical processes. A 35-year-old woman named Sarah was diagnosed with endometriosis after experiencing debilitating pelvic pain for years. She found that her symptoms were particularly intense after consuming sugar-heavy meals. Through dietary changes that focused on blood sugar control, including reducing refined carbohydrates and increasing fiber intake, Sarah noticed a significant reduction in pain and overall inflammation. Estrogen dominance and glucose. Hormonal balance is another crucial factor in endometriosis. Specifically, estrogen dominance, where the levels of estrogen are high relative to progesterone, is a hallmark of the condition. Elevated estrogen levels promote the growth of endometrial tissue outside the uterus, worsening symptoms. Importantly, blood sugar dysregulation plays a significant role in perpetuating this hormonal imbalance. When glucose levels are chronically elevated, the body produces more insulin. Insulin, while primarily involved in glucose regulation, also stimulates the production of estrogen in the ovaries. High insulin levels can reduce the body's ability to metabolize and clear estrogen, leading to a buildup of the hormone in circulation. This can amplify estrogen dominance, further exacerbating endometriosis symptoms, Simone et al., 1994. Moreover, insulin resistance, a common consequence of poor glucose control, disrupts normal hormonal function. As insulin resistance increases, the body compensates by producing more insulin, which in turn raises androgen levels, further affecting hormonal balance. This hormonal chaos contributes to the inflammatory environment that supports endometrial growth. A study conducted by Barron and colleagues, 2020, found that women with endometriosis who followed a low glycemic index GI diet, one that maintains steady blood sugar levels, experienced not only less pelvic pain, but also a reduction in estrogen levels. This is because a low GI diet prevents insulin spikes, reducing the overstimulation of estrogen production and helping to balance hormone levels. Diet and lifestyle strategies for reducing inflammation and balancing hormones. Dietary and lifestyle changes are among the most effective ways to manage both inflammation and hormone imbalances in women with endometriosis. A whole food, anti-inflammatory diet that stabilizes blood sugar is crucial. Studies have shown that a diet rich in anti-inflammatory foods, such as leafy greens, fatty fish, nuts, seeds, and fiber-rich vegetables, can reduce inflammatory markers in women with endometriosis. These foods not only provide essential nutrients that support overall health, but also help maintain stable glucose levels, preventing the insulin spikes that lead to inflammation and estrogen dominance, Fashauer and Paschke, 2003. Omega, three fatty acids, found in fish like salmon, are particularly beneficial due to their anti-inflammatory properties. They can reduce the production of prostaglandins, chemicals that play a role in the pain and inflammation associated with endometriosis. Additionally, consuming fiber-rich foods helps the body excrete excess estrogen. Fiber binds to estrogen in the digestive tract, preventing its reabsorption into the bloodstream, which helps to maintain hormonal balance. Physical activity is another key lifestyle factor. Regular exercise improves insulin sensitivity, making it easier for the body to regulate blood sugar levels and preventing the insulin spikes that fuel inflammation and hormonal imbalances. Additionally, exercise helps in the management of stress, which is another contributor to blood sugar fluctuations. A woman diagnosed with endometriosis reported that after integrating regular exercise, including yoga and low-impact aerobic exercises, she experienced less pain and fewer flare-ups. Mindfulness and stress management techniques are equally critical. 
High stress levels lead to elevated cortisol, which in turn raises blood sugar levels and promotes inflammation. Practices such as meditation, deep breathing exercises, and yoga can reduce cortisol levels, helping to stabilize blood sugar and reduce inflammation. In a study conducted by Sepulchri and Du Amaral, 2009, Women with endometriosis who practiced mindfulness meditation experienced lower levels of stress and inflammation, along with reduced pain severity. Exercise, a key strategy for glucose control. In addition to diet, exercise is essential for glucose regulation and managing menopausal symptoms. Physical activity improves insulin sensitivity, allowing the body to use glucose more efficiently and reduce the risk of insulin resistance. Exercise also promotes weight management, which is often more challenging during menopause due to changes in metabolism. Moreover, regular exercise, particularly weight-bearing and resistance training, helps combat osteoporosis, another common concern during menopause. As estrogen declines, bone density decreases, leading to an increased risk of fractures. By combining cardiovascular exercise, such as walking or swimming, with strength training, Women can improve glucose control, manage their weight, and protect their bone health simultaneously, Davis et al., 2015. Susan, a 55-year-old office worker, began experiencing more intense menopausal symptoms after leading a largely sedentary lifestyle. Her doctor recommended incorporating 30 minutes of brisk walking five times a week, along with strength training twice a week. Within a few months, Susan reported improved energy levels, reduced hot flashes, and a more stable mood, all of which she attributed to her new exercise routine. Stress and sleep, managing glucose and cortisol. Stress management is another critical component of glucose stability during menopause. High stress levels trigger the release of cortisol, a hormone that increases blood sugar levels to prepare the body for a fight or flight response. Chronic stress keeps cortisol levels elevated, which can lead to insulin resistance over time. In menopausal women, this can aggravate symptoms such as hot flashes, sleep disturbances, and weight gain. Sleep is equally important. Poor sleep quality or insomnia, often exacerbated by hot flashes and night sweats, disrupts glucose metabolism. Studies show that even short-term sleep deprivation can lead to insulin resistance and impaired glucose tolerance. Tasali et al., 2008. Ensuring adequate, Restful sleep is crucial for maintaining stable blood sugar levels and managing menopausal symptoms. Mindfulness practices such as meditation, deep breathing, and yoga can reduce cortisol levels and support better glucose control. A 2016 study published in the Journal of Women's Health found that women who practiced mindfulness-based stress reduction, MBSR, experienced not only reduced menopausal symptoms, but also improved glucose metabolism, Carpenter et al., 2016. Concluding recommendations for glucose control in menopause. To manage menopausal symptoms effectively, focusing on glucose stability is key. The following strategies are tailored specifically for women transitioning through menopause. Adopt a low glycemic index diet. Focus on whole foods that release glucose slowly, such as whole grains, vegetables, and lean proteins, while minimizing refined carbohydrates and sugary foods. Incorporate regular exercise. Engage in both cardiovascular and strength training exercises to improve insulin sensitivity, manage weight, and support bone health. Prioritize stress management. Implement stress reduction techniques such as mindfulness, yoga, or meditation to lower cortisol levels and improve glucose stability. Ensure adequate sleep. Establish a sleep routine that promotes deep, restorative sleep to regulate blood sugar levels and mitigate menopausal symptoms. By focusing on glucose control through diet, exercise, stress management, and adequate sleep, women can ease the transition through menopause, minimizing the impact of common symptoms while protecting long-term metabolic and hormonal health. As the old adage says, balance is not something you find, it's something you create. In the case of menopause, glucose stability, may be the balance women need to navigate this life stage more smoothly and healthily. Focus point five, fertility and blood sugar, the link between balanced glucose and improved fertility outcomes. Fertility is a complex interplay of hormonal, metabolic, and environmental factors, and glucose levels play a critical role in this equation. 
Emerging research shows that balanced blood sugar is essential not only for maintaining general health, but also for optimizing reproductive function in women. Imbalanced glucose can disrupt the delicate hormonal balance required for ovulation, implantation, and pregnancy, making it harder for women to conceive. Whether due to insulin resistance, elevated glucose, or metabolic syndrome, the relationship between blood sugar and fertility is increasingly recognized as a key factor in reproductive health. Glucose imbalance and its impact on fertility. One of the most direct ways blood sugar affects fertility is through insulin resistance, a condition often linked to elevated blood glucose levels. When the body's cells become resistant to insulin, the pancreas compensates by producing more insulin, resulting in hyperinsulinemia. This excess insulin not only disrupts glucose regulation, but also interferes with ovarian function. Specifically, insulin resistance can lead to anovulation, the absence of ovulation, which is one of the leading causes of infertility in women. High insulin levels stimulate the ovaries to produce more androgens, male hormones, such as testosterone, which can inhibit regular ovulation cycles, Kitty et al., 1992. A large cohort study conducted in 2019 found that women with insulin resistance had a significantly reduced chance of natural conception compared to women with normal insulin sensitivity, Silvestri's et al., 2019. This finding underscores the importance of maintaining stable glucose levels for women who are trying to conceive. Maria, a 34-year-old woman struggling with infertility, had undergone multiple failed attempts at in vitro fertilization, IVF. After a consultation with an endocrinologist, she learned that her glucose levels were chronically elevated, leading to insulin resistance. Upon adopting a low glycemic diet and incorporating regular exercise to improve her insulin sensitivity, Maria not only lost weight, but also began to ovulate regularly again. Within a year, she conceived naturally, an outcome her doctor attributed to the improvement in her glucose control. Blood sugar and hormonal balance. Hormonal imbalances caused by unstable blood sugar can directly interfere with fertility. Estrogen, progesterone, and luteinizing hormone, LH, are crucial hormones that regulate a woman's menstrual cycle and are highly sensitive to metabolic conditions. Elevated blood sugar levels can cause imbalances in these hormones, leading to irregular or missed periods. This can result in a shortened luteal phase, the period between ovulation and the start of menstruation, making it harder for fertilization and implantation to occur successfully. Research published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism has shown that even mild insulin resistance can disrupt the normal functioning of the hypothalamic pituitary ovarian, HPO axis, a key hormonal system that regulates fertility, Dunafe, 1997. By stabilizing blood sugar levels, women can support hormonal harmony, which is critical for fertility. The role of diet in glucose and fertility. Diet is one of the most effective tools for managing blood sugar levels and improving fertility outcomes. A diet high in refined carbohydrates and sugar causes frequent spikes and crashes in glucose, which in turn leads to insulin resistance. On the other hand, a low glycemic index GI diet, rich in whole grains, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats, helps maintain stable blood sugar and promotes better insulin sensitivity. Studies show that a Mediterranean-style diet, which focuses on plant-based foods and healthy fats, is particularly beneficial for women struggling with fertility issues, Shavaro et al., 2007. For women with conditions like polycystic ovary syndrome, POSE, which is often accompanied by insulin resistance, dietary adjustments can make a substantial difference in fertility outcomes. Research has demonstrated that women with POSE who adopt a low glycemic diet experience more regular ovulation, which improves their chances of conceiving, Moran et al., 2013. A clinical trial involving over 200 women found that participants who followed a low GI diet for six months experienced a 50% improvement in their ovulation rates compared to those on a higher GI diet. These findings suggest that managing glucose through dietary changes can significantly increase fertility potential. Stress, blood sugar, and fertility. Beyond diet, stress is another factor that influences blood sugar and fertility. Chronic stress triggers the release of cortisol, a hormone that raises blood sugar levels in preparation for the body's fight or flight response. 
Prolonged stress keeps glucose levels elevated, contributing to insulin resistance. High cortisol levels can also disrupt the balance of reproductive hormones, delaying or preventing ovulation, and making conception more difficult. Stress management practices such as yoga, mindfulness, or meditation have been shown to improve both glucose regulation and fertility. A 2015 study found that women who practiced stress reduction techniques for three months had significantly lower cortisol levels and improved fertility outcomes compared to those who did not, Domar et al., 2015. By reducing stress, women can promote better glucose control and create a more favorable environment for conception. The importance of physical activity. Exercise plays a crucial role in regulating glucose and improving fertility. Physical activity enhances insulin sensitivity by helping muscles absorb glucose more efficiently, reducing the amount of insulin required to maintain stable blood sugar levels. Regular exercise has been shown to improve menstrual regularity and ovulation in women with insulin resistance, particularly those with POSE, Teed et al., 2010. Even moderate activities such as walking or cycling can improve glucose metabolism and support reproductive health. Emily, a 29-year-old woman with irregular cycles, was advised to incorporate daily exercise into her routine after being diagnosed with mild insulin resistance. Within six months of combining a low GI diet with regular physical activity, she began to ovulate regularly and later conceived without the need for fertility treatments. Blood sugar and male fertility. While much of the discussion around fertility and blood sugar focuses on women, it's important to note that glucose regulation also affects male fertility. Elevated blood sugar and insulin resistance in men can lead to oxidative stress, which impairs sperm quality and reduces sperm motility. A study published in Human Reproduction found that men with insulin resistance had lower sperm counts and poorer sperm morphology compared to men with normal glucose levels, Lottie et al., 2016. For couples struggling with infertility, both partners should consider the impact of their glucose levels on reproductive health. Recommendations for managing glucose and fertility. To improve fertility outcomes by stabilizing blood sugar levels, consider the following strategies. Adopt a low glycemic index diet. Focus on whole foods that stabilize blood sugar, including vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Minimize refined carbohydrates and sugars, which cause glucose spikes. Incorporate regular physical activity. Engage in consistent exercise to improve insulin sensitivity, promote ovulation, and enhance overall fertility. Manage stress. Use mindfulness, yoga, or other stress reduction techniques to lower cortisol levels and support both glucose stability and reproductive health. Monitor and maintain healthy weight. Keeping weight within a healthy range helps improve insulin sensitivity, which is crucial for fertility. Consult a fertility specialist. If glucose-related issues are suspected in fertility struggles, a healthcare provider can help develop a targeted plan for blood sugar management. Balanced blood sugar is a cornerstone of reproductive health, and by addressing glucose levels through diet, exercise, and stress management, both men and women can enhance their fertility outcomes. In the words of Hippocrates, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. The right balance of nutrients can make all the difference when it comes to conceiving and sustaining a healthy pregnancy. Focus point six, practical tips for glucose management. Actionable advice to stabilize glucose levels for better hormonal health. Stabilizing glucose levels is fundamental to achieving better hormonal health, especially for women dealing with conditions like POSE, endometriosis, or menopause. Beyond improving fertility and reproductive function, consistent glucose control helps alleviate hormonal imbalances, reduce inflammation, and support overall well-being. Research has consistently shown that lifestyle changes, including food choices, meal timing, and stress management, can significantly influence glucose levels and, in turn, improve hormonal regulation. Meal timing and glucose stability. Meal timing plays a critical role in glucose regulation. Eating at regular intervals helps prevent blood sugar spikes and crashes, which can wreak havoc on hormonal balance. A common approach is time-restricted eating, where individuals limit their food intake to a specific window each day, typically 8 to 10 hours. 
Studies suggest that time-restricted eating helps stabilize insulin levels, reduce glucose fluctuations, and improve metabolic health, Lou et al. 2020. For women experiencing hormonal imbalances, consistent eating patterns can lead to improved energy levels and reduce symptoms associated with conditions like insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome. Sarah, a 38-year-old woman navigating the challenges of perimenopause, struggled with unpredictable energy levels and weight gain. After adopting a time-restricted eating pattern, where she consumed meals between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m., Sarah noticed fewer glucose dips and improved mental clarity. Her hormonal symptoms, including night sweats and fatigue, also diminished, which she attributed to better glucose control. Another important consideration is avoiding late-night eating, as it can lead to insulin spikes and poor glucose regulation overnight. Research published in Diabetologia found that late-night meals increase the risk of insulin resistance, making it harder for the body to regulate glucose the following day, Chen et al., 2018. Instead, opting for earlier dinners and fasting overnight can optimize glucose metabolism. The role of food choices in glucose management. Food composition is one of the most influential factors in glucose regulation. Meals that are rich in fiber, protein, and healthy fats help slow the absorption of glucose into the bloodstream, preventing sudden spikes. A fiber-rich diet has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity and reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes by promoting better glucose control, Wang et al., 2016. Vegetables, legumes, and whole grains are particularly effective in stabilizing blood sugar levels. Protein and healthy fats also play crucial roles in balancing glucose. Protein helps slow the digestion of carbohydrates, preventing sharp rises in blood sugar, while healthy fats, such as those found in avocados, nuts, and olive oil, provide a steady source of energy without spiking insulin levels. The combination of fiber, protein, and fats creates a meal that promotes stable glucose levels and supports hormonal health. In contrast, refined carbohydrates and sugary foods cause rapid spikes in blood sugar, followed by crashes that lead to increased hunger, fatigue, and hormonal disruptions. Women with conditions like pose or menopause may experience heightened insulin resistance when consuming high sugar or processed foods, which exacerbates symptoms like weight gain, mood swings, and irregular periods. A study conducted by the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that participants who consumed high-fiber, low-glycemic meals experienced a significant reduction in post-meal glucose levels compared to those who ate refined carbohydrates, Jenkins et al., 2008. By choosing complex carbohydrates such as sweet potatoes, quinoa, and leafy greens, women can better regulate their glucose and support balanced hormone production. Lifestyle changes for glucose control. In addition to diet, lifestyle modifications can dramatically improve glucose control and hormonal health. Exercise is one of the most effective ways to increase insulin sensitivity and lower blood sugar. Even moderate physical activity, such as walking, swimming, or cycling, can help muscles absorb glucose more efficiently, reducing the amount of insulin needed. Regular exercise has been shown to lower glucose levels in people with insulin resistance, and its benefits extend to reducing the risk of metabolic disorders, Kahlberg et al., 2010. Incorporating short walks after meals, often referred to as postprandial exercise, can be particularly effective. A study published in Diabetes Care found that a brief 10 to 15 minute walk after eating helped lower post-meal blood sugar levels significantly in individuals with type 2 diabetes, Dunstan et al., 2012. This strategy can be beneficial for anyone looking to manage glucose levels more effectively. Stress management is another critical aspect of glucose control. Chronic stress leads to elevated cortisol levels, which cause the liver to release more glucose into the bloodstream. Over time, this contributes to insulin resistance and hormonal imbalance. Mindfulness practices such as meditation, yoga, and deep breathing exercises have been shown to reduce cortisol levels and improve glucose regulation, Brady et al., 2020. Lauren, a 45-year-old executive, found herself constantly stressed due to work pressures. After experiencing irregular periods and weight gain, she realized her stress levels were impacting her glucose control. By incorporating daily meditation and yoga into her routine, Lauren noticed an improvement in her glucose levels 
as measured by her continuous glucose monitor, CGM. Her hormonal symptoms also began to stabilize, demonstrating the powerful link between stress reduction and glucose management. Hydration and sleep. Proper hydration is another often overlooked factor in glucose management. Dehydration can lead to elevated blood sugar levels because the body becomes less efficient at using insulin. Drinking sufficient water helps keep glucose levels stable and supports overall metabolic health. In one study, individuals who increased their water intake were found to have a lower risk of developing hyperglycemia and diabetes. Roussel et al., 2011. Sleep quality is equally important. Poor sleep or insufficient sleep can disrupt insulin sensitivity and lead to glucose dysregulation. One study published in the Lancet Diabetes and Endocrinology found that even partial sleep deprivation led to increased insulin resistance in healthy individuals, Broussard et al., 2015. Ensuring seven to eight hours of quality sleep each night is essential for maintaining hormonal and glucose balance. Recommendations for practical glucose management. To effectively manage glucose levels and promote hormonal health, consider the following strategies. Eat at regular intervals. Avoid long gaps between meals and try time-restricted eating to stabilize insulin and glucose levels. Choose whole foods. Focus on meals rich in fiber, protein, and healthy fats while minimizing refined carbs and sugary foods. Incorporate post-meal movement. Engage in light physical activity, such as a short walk, after meals to lower post-meal glucose spikes. Prioritize stress management. Incorporate relaxation techniques like mindfulness, yoga, or deep breathing to reduce cortisol levels and improve glucose control. Stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water throughout the day to support insulin function and maintain stable blood sugar. Optimize sleep. Aim for seven to eight hours of quality sleep each night to enhance insulin sensitivity and hormonal regulation. By taking a holistic approach to glucose management that includes mindful eating, regular exercise, stress reduction, and proper sleep, women can improve their glucose levels and support better hormonal health. These practical steps not only stabilize blood sugar, but also alleviate many of the symptoms associated with hormonal imbalances, leading to improved overall well-being. As the saying goes, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. By managing glucose proactively, women can significantly enhance their quality of life. Conclusion. In this audiobook, we explored the critical role glucose plays in hormonal health, specifically how imbalanced glucose levels impact conditions like PCOS, endometriosis, and menopause. By understanding the connection between blood sugar and hormone regulation, you now have valuable insights into how stabilizing glucose can help alleviate symptoms and promote overall well-being. We began by discussing how glucose fluctuations lead to hormonal imbalances and the importance of managing blood sugar for better health. From there, we examined how unbalanced glucose levels exacerbate POSE symptoms and how dietary and lifestyle changes can mitigate them. We also covered how glucose affects inflammation and hormone regulation in women with endometriosis and how stabilizing blood sugar can ease the transition through menopause. Lastly, we explored the link between balanced glucose and fertility outcomes, emphasizing the benefits of healthy blood sugar levels on reproductive health. Practical recommendations. Prioritize balanced meals. Incorporate fiber, protein, and healthy fats into every meal to slow glucose absorption and prevent spikes. Time your meals. Maintain regular eating intervals and avoid late-night eating to optimize glucose levels. Stay active. Light exercise after meals can help lower blood sugar and improve insulin sensitivity. Manage stress. Practice mindfulness, yoga, or other stress relief techniques to lower cortisol and support glucose regulation. Prioritize sleep. Ensure you get seven to eight hours of quality sleep to enhance hormonal balance and glucose stability. These actionable steps will not only improve your hormonal health, but also boost your overall well-being, empowering you to take control of your health journey. Reflecting on the learning experience. Throughout this audiobook, you've gained a deeper understanding of the science behind glucose and hormones. This knowledge can serve as a powerful tool in managing hormonal conditions, enhancing fertility, and navigating life's transitions like menopause with more ease. The importance of glucose control cannot be overstated, 
It's a key to unlocking better health, longevity, and vitality. We deeply appreciate your time and interest in this topic. By choosing to learn more about how glucose affects hormonal health, you're already taking a significant step toward improving your quality of life. If you found this content helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this audiobook with others who may benefit. For more in-depth discussions on health, well-being, and personal development, keep following Media Deem. Remember, the more you listen, the better you speak. Engaging with educational content like this audiobook will not only broaden your understanding, but also improve your English language skills. Thank you for being a part of this journey, and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode.